Looks like we're coming to the home stretch now. I hope we can continue to get some good questions here. Monique Lily Potter wants to know, in Equestria Girls, Twilight Sparkle has her first crush from what we've seen. What do you think will happen in Season 4 in regards to Twilight Sparkle having a crush on Flash Sentry? I seem to recall that Flash Sentry will not be taking part in Season 4, and was only meant for the movie. But as for Twilight having a crush in the actual show, maybe someday down the line. The writers might want to go down that route eventually, but they would have to be incredibly cautious as to how and when they introduce something like that into the show. Ronan Hart asks, who the F is Hank? I'm not sure I understand the question. Monique Lily Potter has another question. Do you think in Season 4 the Cutie Mark Crusaders will get their Cutie Marks? I have my doubts as to whether any of the Cutie Mark Crusaders will be getting their Cutie Mark in this upcoming season. Seems to me that the writers are going to keep on trying to keep us guessing about their cutie marks for a long time yet. I suppose it is possible, but it seems far more likely that we'll have to wait a long time yet. Kyle Kruger has many questions for me. Do you think the mysterious mare do -well is the worst episode of the series? I'm not really sure what I would consider to be the worst episode. I really think that using the word worst would be unfair, as I think there is something to enjoy in every episode of MLP. Personally, I do think the mysterious mare do -well could use a bit of a rewrite, as parts of the story feel forced and contrived, but I still enjoy watching it every now and again. What's your opinion on A Friend Indeed? Certainly the most enjoyable aspect of A Friend Indeed is the song, as it tends to stay in your head for quite a while after hearing it. But if you remove the song from the episode, hmm, I suppose I'll have to look into just how enjoyable the episode would be without it. Who's your favorite writer in MLP? I have thoroughly enjoyed several episodes by Cindy Morrow, but I have also thoroughly enjoyed several episodes by M.A. Larson. So, maybe a tie between those two writers? Have you watched the Cartoon Network show The Life and Times of Juniper Lee? I do remember seeing commercials for that show, but never actually sat down and watched it. Do you like video games? I have been a big fan of many different video games over the years from the old 8-bit era to the modern games of today. Have you heard of Ask Baby Discord? I haven't actually, but I did just read through the archives and it certainly is cute seeing a baby Discord being taken care of by Fluttershy, although it doesn't look like it has been updated in quite some time. Kathleen Green wants to know, other than My Little Pony, what do you watch? I'm not really watching any other TV shows right now, but I do enjoy watching an old movie every now and again like a Disney classic or a film with deep characters and stories in it. Just Some Brony asks, are you religious? I'm surprised I haven't gotten more questions like this, as I do like putting life lessons in a lot of my videos. Yes, I am religious, and I'm actually a Mormon if you can believe it. Felhaven wants to know a lot of things. First off, can you give one way in which MLP has positively impacted your personal life? I have far more purpose in my free time these days. Whereas it used to be that I would spend far too much time watching TV or playing video games, these days I'm connecting with other people and even spreading a little inspiration. With which character do you most sympathize? I sympathize the most with Fluttershy, because I can relate to her struggles more than any other character in the show. What are your favorite fan fictions, if any? I really don't read fan fictions, as it is immensely difficult for me to read something for more than 10 minutes at a time before my mind gets too anxious and I need to do something else. But I have enjoyed fan works inspired by fan fictions like My Little Dashy by Fim Flam Philosophy. Has MLP led you to start enjoying other media often deemed too girly or for kids? Not just yet. I suppose watching MLP I did have to open my mind a little more than before, but I haven't used that to start watching any other shows as of yet. Has being a brony caused you any difficulty in your personal life? At first, it was difficult to discuss this fandom with other people, but nowadays I have lots of others who enjoy discussing MLP with me. Do you think MLP will have a shark jumping moment, or has it already? There are a couple of moments where I feel that Hasbro has forced their hand onto the show. I'm still feeling like Princess Cadence being an alicorn was more of a corporate decision instead of a story-driven one, but the writers have done pretty well incorporating her into the show despite that. 
Suppose you were given the opportunity to actually write a letter to Princess Celestia and know that she would receive it. What would you say? I suppose it would depend on whether I would ever get a response back. If I could only send a letter to her, then I would be sending my praises on how well she has managed to keep the peace and joy in her land for so long. If I could get a response back, then I would ask about her life story from the very beginning, provided she could send enough parchment to cover all of that. Which character would you most like to see return? Well, since we know that Discord will be making future appearances at some point down the road, I think I would enjoy seeing a story about Chrysalis and her origins. Do you think Spike views Twilight more as a friend, a mentor, an employer, or a mother? All of the above, really. Twilight is the closest to being family to Spike than any other being in all of Equestria. Do you think Diamond Dogs is the name of the particular pack of dogs encountered by Rarity or the name of the whole species? I get the sense that Diamond Dogs are the name of their whole species, and not just what a few of them decided to name their own pack. Tom Curran Gray is asking, have you looked at My Little Portal and Turnabout Storm? I have watched both My Little Portal and Turnabout Storm. In fact, Turnabout Storm was one of the first fan projects that I came across on YouTube. I think it is very well made, with some impressive voice work and an engaging story. It is certainly something that I recommend to anyone who is both a fan of MLP and Phoenix Wright. As for My Little Portal, I can tell that they put a lot of work into the animation and the idea for the story is really compelling, but I'm not as impressed with the voice work on this project. And I think there are times when the story gets a little too dark for the subject matter. But I do enjoy watching the series. I just haven't watched My Little Portal multiple times like I have with Turnabout Storm. PK Panda 15 wants to know, how did you help explain to your family and friends that you like the show and what's so good about it? It has been a slow and steady process. It certainly helps that I have several nieces who already enjoy the show, the oldest of which is 17 now. And even though most of my family don't enjoy the show, they do understand why I enjoy it, and are rather impressed by the fact that I now have a YouTube channel with over a thousand subscribers. They like the fact that the show spreads a good message. LAW wants to know, what is your opinion on shipping and what are your favorite ships? I really haven't looked that much into shipping in MLP, although I have to admit that Dr. Hooves and Derpy seem to make a good fit. Mega Club 34 wants to know, does Discord have enough power to turn ponies instantly to discorded ponies? I get the sense that Discord could have used his power to discord ponies at any time he wanted. He just wanted to play with them first. Swakune Wolf is wanting to know, who is your favorite pony from the main six? Who is your favorite background pony? I enjoy all of the main six for their different quirks and ideals, but I still believe that I relate to Fluttershy a little more than the rest of them. As for background ponies, I suppose my favorite would be Derpy. Grim Wolf has three questions for me. What do you do for a living? What did you study and where? What's the most important thing for you when doing an analysis? I honestly thought that I would be getting questions like these quite some time ago. For starters, I am an accountant, if you can believe it. My job doesn't have anything to do with creative writing or psychology. I graduated from BYUI in business finance. As for analysis, the most important thing for me is that I feel passionate about what I'm doing. If I'm not enjoying the work, then people will begin to notice my lack of passion. Sewertley asks, do any other MLP FIM analysts such as Digibrony and Brony Curious influence or inspire your work? When I first discovered analysts like Brony Curious and Digibrony many months ago, I started to gain a deeper appreciation for MLP by listening to their thoughts and opinions. And the more I listened, the more I realized that I had many ideas of my own that they may not have considered. So in part, I suppose that the other MLP analysts have inspired me to start doing my own analysis. Phew, it's been quite a lot of work, but it looks like I've finally gotten through all of your questions. I'm sure there will be more opportunities in the future for some direct interaction, but for now I hope that I have satisfied your curiosity about the work I do. Until next time, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.